Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of Practical PowerPoint Tip Series, you are going to learn the first of the three PowerPoint Bezier Curves tricks. In this session, you are going to learn how to create these beautiful green leaves using Bezier Curves in PowerPoint. Once you learn how to create these leaves, you will be able to create this wonderful set of green icons which all look consistent because of the way we have used these leaves here. Let us see how to create these green leaves using Bezier curves. Once you learn the basic technique, then you can create your own shapes. First, let us go to Auto Shapes menu and pick up this isosceles triangle under Basic Shapes. I am going to draw a straight triangle. And once I right click on it and go to edit points, you can see that there are three of these uh, black squares that got formed in three corners. When I click on one of the corners, you can see there are two handles. One is the left handle and another one is right handle. And these allow you to manipulate the shapes. For example, I'm going to move the yellow handle. And as I, as I do that, you can see that there is a wonderful curvature that got added to this shape. I'm going to do the right uh, the same thing to the corner on the right and this completes this beautiful green leaf shape. Now to add the vein in the middle, I am going to click on it, go to edit points and I am going to pick the center point here. And as I move the cursor on the, on the line, you can see that the cursor turns into crosshair and I am going to click here. And when I click and move this point, you can see that uh, automatically a center point got created and then I am able to drag the point, the new point that got created to create this variation. Now you can see that the, there is a stem here and there is this green leaf. That is as much you really require to create for a leaf. Once you know how, to, once this is done, then you can go to shape outline and go to no outline and you can change the fill color to this fluorescent green or light green. Then now I'm going to make multiple copies of it by pressing say control D a couple of times and I'm going to move this to the, to the right. First, you can rotate the leaf to the angle you want. Second, you can resize it by holding the shift button and pulling in one of the corners and then you can um, move it slightly. And if you want to do some variation, if you, if you want to change the shapes, you can always do so by going to edit points and you can move any of the elements. For example, here, if I want the stem to be slightly curved, I can do so by moving this right handle and I'm going to match the same movement by moving this one as well. And this handle a little bit like this. And you can see I have created the curve. So you can do all kinds of variations of uh, the leaf by working with the two handles of Bezier curve. So that is the basic trick. And we will see how to do more as we go along in this uh, series. I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs where we have used the idea of leaves, plants to convey some very interesting concepts. The first one is this one where we show cause and effect using this uh, tree example and here we show that the effort you put to the roots actually gives you results later. That means you need to work on the roots to get sheen on the leaves. That is the idea uh, of this particular template. Let us go to another example template where we want to show the various, uh, the number of branches that have grown over the years. And you can see that these leaves, this, uh, this plant is taken as a metaphor for growth. And three branches, five branches, ten branches, etc. This is one simple way to create an infographic. And in this we show how the various benefits stem out of a single core feature. So th that is another way in which you can uh, use the metaphor of plants, trees, etc. The final one is this one where we show plants 
as a metaphor for growth from the seed stage to the plant stage so if you if you were to take some random years this is about how we have progressed over the years you can of course replace this with any year here 2014 2013 12 10 11 10 9 etc so this is these are some of the ways in which you can use leaves plants and trees as metaphors in your business presentations if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two CEO packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating green leaves using Bezier tool. If you want to read articles to improve your presentation skills or PowerPoint skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video happy presenting